So this year, in addition to films, CineQuest is also expanding to include other creative arts. And now we are going to present an unexpected creative experience. So from the play Macbeth, Bill Cozzini as Macbeth and Kimmy Martinez as Lady Macbeth will be performing a crucial scene in Macbeth's reach for power. In the scene, Macbeth doubts the plans he, weighed, he made sorry, with Lady Macbeth to kill Duncan in his sleep. Duncan's death would result in Macbeth being king of the land, and so Lady Macbeth reminds him not to let, not to let his conscience weaken his promise to secure the throne. Thank you so much. Assassination could trammel up the consequence and catch with his surcease success that but this blow might be the be-all, end-all here. But here, on this bank and shoal of time, we jump the life to come. That in these cases we still have judgment here. That we but teach the bloody instruction which, being taught, returns to plague the inventor. This even-handed justice commends the ingredients of our poison chalice to our own lips. He's here in double trust. First, as I am his kinsman and his subject, strong both against the deed, then as his host, who against the murderer should shut the door, not bear the knife myself. Besides, this Duncan hath borne his faculties so meek, hath been so clear in his great office, that his virtues will plead like angels, trumpet-tongued against the deep damnation of his taking off. And pity, like a naked, newborn babe striding the blast, or heaven's cherubim horsed upon the sightless couriers of the air, will blow the horrid deed in every eye. The tears will drown the wind. I have no spur to prick the sides of my intent, only vaulting ambition, which o'erleaps itself and falls on the other. How now? What news? He's almost supped. Hath he asked for me? Why have you left the chamber? Know you not he has? We will proceed no further in this business. He has honored me of late, and I have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people which would be worn now in their newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Was the hope drunk, whereas when you dressed yourself? Has it slept since, and wakes it now to look so green and pale at what it did so freely? From this time such I account thy love. Art thou afeard to be the same in thine own act and valor as thou art in desire? Wouldst thou have that which thou esteemest the ornament of life, and live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not wait upon I would, like the poor cat in the adage. Prithee, peace, I dare do all that may become a man. Who dares more is none. What beast, then, that made you break this enterprise to me? When you durst do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more the man. Nor time, nor place did then adhere, and yet you would make both. They have made themselves, and that their fitness now does unmake you. I have given suck, and know how tender it is to love the babe that milks me. I would while it were smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from its boneless gums and dashed the brains out had I so sworn as you've done to this. If we should fail. We fail? But screw your courage to the sticking place and will not fail. When Duncan is asleep, where to rather 
His hard day's journey soundly invites him. His two chamber lanes will I with wine and wassail so convince that memory, the warder of the brain, shall be a fume in the receipt of reason a limbeck only. When in swine sleep the drenched nature lies as in death, what not can we perform on the unguarded Duncan? What not put upon his spongy officers who shall bear the guilt of our great quell? Bring forth men, children only, for thy undaunted metal should compose nothing but males. Will it not be received when we have marked with blood those sleepy two of his chamber and used their very daggers that they have done it? Who shall receive it other? as we shall make our griefs and clamor roar upon his death. I am settled and put all corporal agents against this terrible feat. Away now, I mark the time with fairest show. False face was high what the false heart doth know. <laughs> 